Okay, welcome everybody. Good morning. It's good to see you all. Yeah. I remember if we want to say something, what do we do in Bible Club? That's right. Put your hand up. You have to wait for the bishop to choose you as well. So you don't just put your hand up and then talk. You need to put your hand up and then wait for the bishop to choose you if you want to say something. Does anyone want to say something? Okay, all right, then we sit quietly. All right, what do we start with? Do you remember? Okay, let's pray. Let's close our eyes, hands together. Let's pray. All right, thank you, Lord, for gathering us here. Thank you that we can learn about the book of Numbers today. And we just pray, Lord, that you'll help the children to pay attention, sit quietly, and that they'll learn from the lesson this morning. We thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ. And through him, we have salvation, we have eternal life, and uh, we can gather here together in his name. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Very good. Okay, just a reminder again, my three rules. Sit quietly. Yeah, you got to sit quietly. Want to make a lot of noise, right, Jeremiah? Want to sit quietly? And then, what's number two? I want you to pay attention. Right? When the bishop's talking, we don't talk, we pay attention. And my last rule, what is it? Put your hand up when you want to talk. Very good, Simon. Now you need to, need to wait for me to choose you. Right? Once I choose you, then you can say something. All right, today we're learning about the book of Numbers. Did you know that there was a book in the Bible called Numbers? Numbers is the fourth book in the Bible. Numbers. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the inheritance. This is the land that they inherited from God when he split up the land of Israel. Right? Now, if the book is called Numbers, what do you think it's about? Put your hand up if you know what the book of Numbers is about. What do you think, Peony? It's a book, yes. Well, if it's about numbers, what do you do with numbers? One, two, three, what do you do, Zephy? Yeah. You count, that's right. So what is numbers about? Numbers was about counting, wasn't it? So when God wanted to separate up, this is a map, and this is not exactly what it might have looked like. It might have looked something like this. This is a map of the nation of Israel. Have you ever seen a map of Australia? Australia looks a bit different, doesn't it? Well, Israel looks a bit different too. So when God divided up the land, he wanted to give each tribe, these are the 12 tribes of Israel, because these were the 12 sons of Israel, he divided it up. And you know how he decided how big or how small he was going to give them? By how many there were. Right? So these were the 12 tribes. I'll tell you the name. Reuben, Simeon, so that's not Simon, but it's very close. Simeon, Gad, Judah, so this is where we get the Jews from, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Manasseh, and Ephraim. These were the two sons of Joseph. If you remember the story of Joseph, Simon? Benjamin, Dan, Asher, and Naphtali. So you see here, Asher, Naphtali, Zebulun, Issachar. That's how they divided it up, and it was depending on how many there were in their tribe. Okay? Now, which tribe is missing. Can you tell which one's missing? Which one did we learn about last week? Remember? Leviticus. Which one's missing? It's Levi. Levi is missing, right? Remember we learned about the book of Leviticus? Why is Levi missing? Because Le the Levi tribe were the priests, so they didn't get any land. They just served in the temple. Okay? Now, in the book of Numbers, we learn about the story of the spies. Do you know what spies are? Spies are spies. They creep in. All right? You know what spies are? What are the spies? That's right. They're trying to secretly find out information. So before Israel went into the land, they sent 12 spies in to scope out the land to go see what it was like to see, you know, if God had really given them that land. So 12 spies went in, one from each tribe, to go and check out the land. And when they got back, they said, oh, look, 
The land is flowing with milk and honey. They brought this big lot of grapes back to show everyone that God had given the land to them. But you know what happened when the 12 tribes came back? Ten of the spies discouraged everybody. Said, oh, the people are so big, we won't be able to beat them. And they made everyone scared. You know? But there were two spies that stood up, Caleb and Joshua, and said, no, God can bring us into the land. God is with us. But who did the people listen to? Do you think they listened to the two spies that were right or the ten spies that were wrong? What do you think? Put your hand up. What do you think, Ernie? No, they, they should have listened to the two. So you have, you have the right idea. You should listen to the two spies that want to follow God. But the people, they followed the ten spies. So that's why it's so important that we don't discourage people we don't discourage people from following God like the ten spies. We want to be like the two spies, like Caleb and Joshua. So because everybody listened to the ten spies, you know what God said? You're not going in to the promised land. So he made them wander in the wilderness for 40 years until everybody that listened to those ten spies, they all died. They didn't get to go into the land, if you remember how God split it up until the next generation came up. And then, now the next generation came up, what did God have to do again? He had to count them again, didn't he? So now he's going to count them again to decide, hey, how are we going to split up this land? All right, so two important lessons today. One is that we need to make sure we listen to the people that are telling us to follow God not the people that are telling us not to follow God. That's one lesson. The second is, there's a picture here, isn't there? You see how when they divided up the land, the bigger the tribe was, the more land that they got. Now, this is a picture to us. See, the Bible says here, this is our verse for today. This is Numbers chapter 26, verse 54. To many... Thou shalt give the more inheritance. And to the few, thou shalt give the less inheritance. You see there, the more you have, the more inheritance you get. The less people there are, the less inheritance. To everyone shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered. Remember the book? What's it called? Numbers of him. All right, let's read it together. You ready? Numbers chapter 26, verse 54. To many thou shalt give the more inheritance, and to few thou shalt give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. So you see, the bigger your tribe was, the more inheritance you got. Now we can make sure... We get a big inheritance when we go to heaven, don't we? How do we do that? Well, every time we tell somebody about Jesus and that person believes on Jesus, that's like us growing our tribe. So the bigger your tribe is, the more people you tell about Jesus and the more people that believe on Jesus, that means your inheritance in heaven is going to be even bigger. Right? So that's the lesson that we learned today. One is we always want to listen to the people telling us to follow God, not the people telling us not to follow God. And we want to tell people about Jesus. And the more people we tell about Jesus, what's going to be bigger? Our inheritance, isn't it, when we go to heaven. So our activity, we've got an activity for you today. This is what we put together for you. This, we're going to do a family tree today. Who's done a family tree before? Nobody's done a family tree. Well, it's good. This will be the first time you do a family tree. All right, so we've got a tree here, and we've got our verse here, Numbers 26, 54, to many thou shalt give the more inheritance, and to few thou shalt give the less inheritance. To everyone shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. And look what I've made. I've made the family tree with fruit. Why is that? Because do you think God likes a tree without fruit? No. God doesn't want a tree just to look pretty. He wants a tree with fruit. So we've put some fruit on there. 
and the more fruit we have for God, the bigger our inheritance will be. So my name's going to go there, then I'm going to put mum and dad, and then I'm going to put my grandparents. Okay, and then you can colour it in. And I want to have a look at everyone's at the end and see who's done a good job. Okay, so let's all stand up. Let's go to the back of the room. And I'll give everyone one.